The circadian rhythm is an internal process in our bodies that repeats every 24 hours and regulates our sleep-wake cycle. This cycle is largely affected by a hormone called melatonin, or the sleep hormone, which is the product of a very tiny but very important gland in our brain called the pineal gland. The main factor in the production of melatonin is the amount of light that falls on the retina of our eyes. So this part of the eye, the retina that's highlighted in green, is connected to the pineal gland via a series of nerves. When there is little to no light present, the production of melatonin is stimulated, while the presence of bright light inhibits production. This means that melatonin concentrations in the blood rise during the dark and fall during the day, making us sleepy. So this serves as an internal mechanism for the body to gather information on night length, and in turn to create the circadian rhythm for an individual. Due to the connection between the pineal gland and the eyes and its ability to respond to light, the pineal gland is historically referred to as the third eye. Now you may assume that the pineal gland and melatonin are important factors in things like jet lag, and you would be correct. Flying across four or five time zones will cause a shift in your sleep and wakefulness cycle, and our internal clock can't adjust fast enough. So symptoms of jet lag can last for up to 10 days, and they include difficulty falling asleep, or remaining asleep in a new environment, along with daytime sleepiness. I'm sure this guy had a great journey regardless because he's clearly on business class.